Hi everybody, welcome to Narex channel. This is the episode number 54. Sometimes your Narex application crashes and you don't know how to do. We start to pull out your hair, well, if you have hair, and, and don't get it working. So today I will explain a trick to help you to find at least one cause of Nerex application crashing. Today I will explain how you can monitor your memory stack usage. If you don't know what is the stack memory and what is used for, please watch this video explain about it. If you select a small area to, to your application stack, it could crash. And if you select a big area, you will waste more memory without your application needing needed too much. So let's get started. Open the Linux terminal, enter inside Nurex space, Nurex, execute make this clean to clear previous configuration. The next step is the board configuration. So execute tools configure.sh stm 32f4 discover slash nsh. Execute make menu config to select the options to enable the stack monitor. Enter inside builder setup. Build host platform, change it from Windows to Linux. Now I will enable the USB serial console. If you don't know how to do that, please watch this video explain and I will speed up the video. The USB serial console was enabled, so we can follow with the stack monitor configuration. Enter inside build setup debug options, enable stack coloration, exit, exit again, file system and just confirm the procfs file system is enabled. We need it to monitor the stack. Exit, go to application configuration, enter inside system library and ns8 add-ons, and enable the stack monitor, we can use the default setup. Exit, exit again, and finally exit and save. Execute make to compile the source code. The source code was compiled we can flash the firmware inside the board, execute OpenOCD, Ctrl A, OpenOCD, it will flash the firmware inside the board. Okay, the firmware was flashed. Now we can connect the micro USB cable in the board. Reset the board. Execute the mask to see if the TTY ACM0 was created. Okay, it was created. Now we can execute minicon and change the serial port setup to TTY ACM0. Press enter three times. One, two, three. Let's see if the stack monitor application is here. Okay, it is here. Double check if the proc file system is mounted. Execute mount. Okay, the proc file system is mounted. Now we can run stack monitor. Start. Uh, as you can see, it run in background and you can still type commands in the NSH. So using it, you can monitor how much stack memory your application is using 
and you can increase or reduce the amount of memory used by your application. So I hope you had enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to Nerdx channel yet, please subscribe and click in the bell icon to receive notifications when I post a new video. See you. Bye bye.